it caught my eye because um, I mean they both had the same specs and uh, that one when it came out came at almost a thousand dollars and this one is actually a 300 which is a big hell of a difference hello everyone welcome back to Rimfire Rixie uh, today yet again we have another product to unbox uh, today we have a small package with a lot of technology that is going to be amazing can't wait to unbox this um, it's a small package, a budget package, that uh, you can compare with a premium product, which I think is um, going to be something that is revolutionary. Yeah, I hope so. But let's let's take that on and let's get into this. <music> Let me get to op opening this package up. Um, I'll be there. It's not good. Dropped out. So here we have the unboxing. So here, this is what we have. This is the Samsung Galaxy A32. It has 128 GB storage and it has um, six, six gigabits of RAM, which is um, really cool on a budget phone as such. Um, ranges with, um, I mean, can't actually compare it to maybe the premium phones, but if you look at the same specs, you can actually get the S10 Plus um, that I have been using. Do a comparing test on how we can actually do that. So I'm gonna have a comparing video on that on both of these devices very soon. It caught my eye because, um, I mean, they both have the same specs, and uh, that one when it came out came at almost a thousand dollars, and this one is actually a 300, which is a big hell of a difference so um i will i will get back to opening this and uh, unboxing this special treat So here, as you can see, I've already actually set up the phone. That's the lock screen of it. Uh, we'll enter the pin that's there, or uh, also we have configured the fingerprint. So that's where the fingerprint goes. So that's how it is. So we'll be starting Android. Give it a minute. And yeah, there we are on the home screen. Takes a bit of a time. I personalized the phone a little bit here and there. Added a few games and just to test out. I have WhatsApp on it. Um, have a few applications that I've already downloaded on it. It's a pretty decent phone, I would say. It comes with 6GB RAM, 128GB uh, storage, which is great. Very, very handy. It's quick. So it does come with a quad camera, as stated on the mobile, and it's a pretty great camera. Actually, this phone does have a great battery life. I think it's 5000mAh battery. Uh, it has an on-screen fingerprint, which is pretty great. Uh, I guess after you put the, the the shield on top of it, it does take some time for it to be recognized. As you can see, um, put that shows there. 
it doesn't recognize other times it recognizes other times i guess you have to be really with like maybe dry hands if it's a bit moist it doesn't um, doesn't detect it too well that's my opinion and you know, i mean that's what i've uh, been able to go through the camera is pretty great if you, as you can see this is the this is the rear camera it has two cameras two adjustable cameras so that's how it is so you can look that's the rear camera second one second module we shall compare the cameras of the s10 plus with the c32 uh, both of them have a 10 uh, times 10 um, magnification so you can zoom times 10 although the picture won't be as clear as you expect but um, the features there the option is always there so i mean why not of course uh, this one does not uh, support optical zoom uh, however it does have a good camera for the budget that it is thank you so much for watching and uh, staying until the end uh, stay tuned for other videos so there'll be a lot more technology videos uh, in upcoming videos thank you so much for watching and stay tuned subscribe to the channel thank you